Alright everyone, Disc Golf Valley Players Tour Week 8. We got Royal Bags with Coyote Canyon, Downtown, Lost Island, and Enso. Name of the game here is Don't Mess Up. So I'm typically taking the Grace on a default here with that tailwind. We aim a little bit to the right and just take a smidgen off of that. Hopefully it gets up here okay. I wish this was a little bit closer. I might have to do a rotate the world putt. Looks like I am going to have to. This is kind of annoying. I think I can get through here okay. Let's start. Oh, didn't get it yet. Let's start with a birdie. Okay. Starting with a birdie. Feels good. Moving to hole two. It's a par four here. This is about getting over the top. Get up here on this shadow. The wind's going to push me a little more right, so I'll take a little bit of angle off this. Not a whole lot. And hope that gets up over there okay. Yes, it was aiming up at that dark spot and then putting the disc over the distance numbers for the hyzer choice. 213. I don't know. Let's see what the trust can do there. Not having a lot of hope, but let's see. Go, fade, fade, fade. Oh, almost got that one. I was just kind of winging it. I haven't really practiced that trust throwing much at all because any of my practices, I never even got close. I just got barely over that hillside. Coyote Canyon 3, missing the water skip. That's okay. We'll take the grace out here. Just make sure I get plenty of width. There's not much to worry about. It's going to be a, probably a rive into the green across here. We are 331. I feel like the grace. Yeah, the grace will do that. I just make sure I'm getting around that tree. And the grace across for 331. Here we go and get this putt down around these bushes just in case they're going to be in the way. Knock that bad guy in. That bad boy in, that's, that's a saying. Okay, four. It's a matter of get through the opening. And get through that opening right there. Beautiful little kick. Okay. First throw we're going to have to make. I think it's very reasonable. Should be within 60. Yeah. Within 60 there. So I'm going to throw just a little bit less than I would with my fuse because the extra glide and lift on that hope. And just keep it up in the air a bit more. All right. Hole five. This is the opportunity for this flex shot. Backhand wind roll rye or wind glide rye. And make sure. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Okay. We're going to have the chance at throw. It's going to be a long one, though. Did not flex that enough. 185. I'm not going to make 185. Let's throw it up over here to the base. I don't want to risk getting worse than the birdie there. Minus 10 would have been good here. But now we're going for minus 9 on Coyote Canyon. It's a bummer to miss that gap. But it, and I've, I've been inconsistent with it lately anyway. So even if I practiced a lot more, I don't know if it would have even worked out. So you got the gray straight down there at it. I just feel like that the wobble has been the thing for me there. Oh, don't give me another rotate the world putt, please. Just a little bit of one. This is a very reasonable. Close. Ooh, drop that in. All right, he's starting to feel the nerves already. We got some definitely the harder courses are ahead. Some good wind to get across here. Get down on that bush and give it the right hyzer to get around that. Yes. Oh, go in. Not too low. Okay, with three wind with a hope. This is not a gimme. Oh, it's a putt. Okay. Whew. Got some nerves shaking my fingers a little bit. Got that in. Okay, I remember feeling these nerves a lot of, was it Global League, when I started doing well at the end of last season. Okay, 290. Let's get a little bit of height on the grace. Is it a chance? Is there a chance? Oh! Oh! I was kind of just winging that too. 53. Okay, the wind's going to lift this a lot. So I have just a tiny bit of power on this, I think. Oh, oh, okay. I don't feel confident with those yet at the wind. I did a lot of practice, but nothing, nothing replaces having years of practice, or not years of practice, literally, but the a lot more time of practice that I've had 
with the windbreak views. Way more repetitions than I have with that hope. Let's get off this hillside and we should be down here. We're gonna take the outside shot, look at Eagle. That's probably pretty unlikely, but let's get it up there, see if it might have a chance. Now it's gonna be 2-0. And that's okay. I'm taking this uh, this birdie to finish with minus nine on Coyote Canyon. Sweet. Next course coming up, I think, is Lost Island. Let's click through these reward uh, that that screen real quick. Oh, downtown. And I forgot to note in my bag, you'll see that I do have this Glide Skips drive on the beta version I'm using right now. I'm not going to be using it. I want to keep this you know, extra fair competition coming in, so that's not going to be the reason I do how well or how poorly I do. It's not going to be because of that strive. I'm going to take forehand in here. Can you give us some height with that rive? Go, go. Behind these bushes is not good. Slide past them, please. I think I might have got those bushes out of the way, and I did. The big crosswind got me last week. There's a four crosswind got me back last week. That three, much more manageable. Doesn't really seem to affect the disc as much. I'll take my grace line here, aim at this light with the top chevron, and just a little bit of Anheuser to counteract that crosswind that's coming in. Gets me up here for another putt. Wonderful. Getting this in there. Alrighty. Downtown four, five, and six is where I'm feeling least confident. So at this point I'm actually wishing I had practiced my downtown four drive a bit more. I'm used to going turn glide driver there so I'm just really not confident that with the amount of Anheuser to put on that disc. It's going to be throwing or a putt. There's a putt. 48 a little bit downhill. Gets in over the top there. Nicely done Daniel. All right hole four. It's going to be wind glide. I think instead of trying to do too much flux, I'm just going to aim low over here and let that disc do the work on its own. Hopefully not behind those silly bushes, which are a complete pain if we get behind them. I am past them. Okay, right, so 217. I think this is that. I'll try that truss throwing again that I tried on Coyote Canyon. And it's not fading enough, but it does get over here for it's hopefully a birdie throw in, but still this glide hope as a throwing disc, nothing is a gimme. But that one is able to get in. Okay, five and six is gonna be a decision time for these potential eagle opportunities. This is not a win where eagles are gonna be happening. So I'll just throw this out there. And once I turn this corner, it's gonna be a raging headwind. It's gonna hit that post to make that even worse. So I'm just gonna go, let's see, four, I'll go forehand. Oh, that post's in the way. How do I get around this? I think forehand over here. I think that's safe from the water. Yeah, that's well away from the water. And then I'll toss up under the basket for hopefully it's going to be a birdie. 361. Oh, I think this is almost, it was the rive. Power that down a bit. This is not as much of a gimme a birdie as I thought. Stay, 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 stay. Thank you for not going behind those bushes. Those bushes can be utterly brutal if you get behind them. So we've got a birdie here. Six, I'm going to try and throw up next to that wall and see if I can get across for the eagle. This looks like a good win to make it happen. But if I don't have a great drive, which this might not be, let's see. If it hits that post, it's a no. Okay, if I can get this through, I can get it through there. So we're gonna go go for it and try and get across here. I think this is gonna be close. Oh, don't hit that. Hit that nicely. Okay, woo, got an eagle. So I just kind of holding my breath there. I wanna give you the commentary, but that was definitely further left than I want it to be. I was aiming more to the right. Uh, it's been a tough shot to get back to learning after I got used to the water skip. This is a tough wind. Let's see if I get here with the grace. Aim that down. I think get a little bit off the power. Come on back to the island. Come on back to the island. Yes. I know it's not my default aim drive. I was working on something even a little bit dis different coming up to this event. 
because my default aim drive was having a lot of trouble, especially in those crosswinds. So that crosswind is there. I try to switch that up a little bit. Here to hole eight. Let's get the grace out there again. Hopefully right around that bench. You guys know my favorite landing zone is a little bit further left than this, but that works out. And we'll get this rive up here high and hope that fades in down through the gap and some good ground play, please. Some good ground play. Still going to be a downhill throw in. Not a gimme. Nothing is with this hope. Oh, okay. I thought that was going to be too low. Able to get it in. Downtown nine. Most excited about this one. I really enjoyed working on this line. It's right about here. Two thirds and a little bit of Anheuser. I wish that could have been more to the right. But let's see if this hillside knocks me back to the basket like it has before. Yes. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Okay. Well, still have a throw in. Felt like I nailed that drive to get, still get stuck with a throw in. So 76 is 86 minus the two tailwind push up 66. And the throw is like 70. And it stuck in there. All right. Minus 9 and minus 10 is a good start to this so far. I'm feeling pretty happy with that. Going to Lost Island now, there's a lot of possibilities to go wrong or right here. So let's jump into it. Lost Island 1, as long as we don't have a big tailwind, we're okay with this line getting a little across here. Uh-oh, too low. Oh, no. Okay. I don't like having to do throw-ins. If I can really minimize those throw-ins, that would be great for this round. 73 feet should be doable. This fades a little bit. Let's go right about there and drops it in. Uh, hole two, thinking about do I need to take some power off of this so it doesn't go too long there. It's a one wind, so I'm going to aim up a little bit, take just a little bit of power off, and add that Anheuser so it gets through here and hopefully just snugs up by this basket nicely there. Great, I wish I had the sapphire for this one. I really love the sapphire play on this hole. Hole three is one, I know I went back into my practice video. This win, there's no chance I'm going back in though. Let's get that way out there. Is that out there safe enough? Uh oh, I think that's safe enough, okay. Cool, this is enough to hopefully get me across here at 221. This can even be the hope. Get it across and set up for this birdie. Great. Hole four coming up next. Definitely one that's tricky when you don't have your throw-in disc. Hole four is one where we're relying on the throw-in after we get around this corner. Big wind pushing that too. Let's see, I've been taking the glory around this corner. Let's give it a little bit more width for the wind pushing it in. And hopefully it sets me up somewhere where I have a look. Okay, I do have a look. This wind could lift this a lot and a lot can go wrong here really quickly. So let's make sure we are careful with the amount of power we put on that and it drops in. Woo! That's definitely one I was worried about having to rely on that 77 foot throw in especially without having my typical throwing disc was nerve wracking uh, and with a big wind. Hopefully this checks up. I feel like this is kind of a hope it checks up through that play and most of the time it checks up. And if it does, you're good. 220, I'm going to take the savior in there. I just make sure I'm fading away from that water. Sticky's going to slow me down a little bit to hit in this birdie. Stay in. Oh, it looked like it was kind of trying to spit back out at me. Let's move to hole six. I don't remember what Lost Island six is. Ah, yes. I'm going to take my same play here as I do with the glide skip rive. Hopefully I just get around so I don't have this big pillar in the way, which seems like that's going to be the case. Uh, 243. I don't know if I can trust the trust up there. So I'm going to go brave about there it's kind of a sort of a throw attempt looks like i had the power right 
but I have not practiced throwing it with that brave much at all. Do you get that birdie in? Lost Island 7 is one. I might screw myself here, but I know I saw a bunch of pars on this one that were surprising to me because I feel like getting the birdie here is really just about finding the aim point. And I think I got that aim point here. Let's see if it gets in okay. This practice the aim point for the straight pullback. I think probably some of the birdie or the pars that I saw were coming from people trying to put a lot of angle control on that disc. And angle control, in my opinion, is something that just it's just well, something else to go wrong. It's not really my opinion, it's just factually something else to go wrong. So if you can avoid having to do angle control, you're gonna be in a much better position. This we're not even gonna try to cross, take the accurate rule grace and get that out there. No, hopefully not behind that bush. I'd almost rather hit one of these trees than behind behind that ugly bush. Okay, I got a little ways out there. Got some distance. Make sure I don't end up in the water. So add some hyzer to that and get out here. Would have loved this to be a bit closer than this after two. And roll out from the tree. We're not going to roll out from the tree, so I'm going to have to give some hyzer to this again, taking some distance off. Looks like I might be... Oh, shoot. Okay. Looks like I might be having to rely on a throw in a bit, but maybe not. Nope. It gets there just fine for this next birdie. Feeling pretty good about this round overall. I know Enso is going to be the the next course coming up. That's definitely the the big one where big swings can happen. I'm going to aim this tip of the chevron down the side of the bridge. And because there's that two wind pushing, I'm just going to give that a straight pullback. And should go just to the left of this tree and slide up there. Enzo is really about decision time. Um, I think the smart play on a lot of those holes is going to be a layup. I'll com be completely okay with a nine on on Enzo, nine under on Enzo rather, which is a birdie on each hole. I think it's the begin gain strokes on a lot of the field if I can do that successfully. Last 50 feet. Let's focus on the end here and make sure I don't get that too much power and get it in for that final birdie. Wonderful. Minus nine, minus 10, minus nine has us at what, 38? So that's good so far. I'm pause for this level up. All right, I took a break and walked away for a while, but now I'm back for Ikigai Enzo for the endo. Minus nine on Enzo here will have me tied in second place. So this is just a matter of don't mess this up. I think birdie out will be very good. Five and six might be something I'm going to attack, but I'm not going to be getting aggressive, quite aggressive at all. So this one I think I need to just slide it down there, I think is the play. Yep, sliding down the hillside and stop. Please don't do something silly to me. Perfect, grabbing this birdie on hole one. Hole two, and actually since my video, I've learned a new line that's much safer just going for birdie, but keeping keeping the possibility, kind of the outside possibility for getting the eagle throw in. I'm just taking the forehand out here, and it should land out safe up here on the hillside. Now let's see if I can get a lucky throw in. Honestly, probably not, but I'm not worried about it. Let's see if that goes. Go! Now most of my practice ones come up short, and I'm really, I'm okay with that. I expected coming up short. I did not want to risk the possibility of going long, so if I miss, had to be short. And so three is a little bit of a tough wind. I'm going to make sure that I don't go too far off the left side. I would rather not be up on this top hillside, but I am. That's okay. Let's just throw down to the screen, 232. Where's my hope? There's my hope. Make sure I hit on this side over there about that's the power. And don't slide off the back side is the goal. Oh, okay. That's going to stay there just fine. And aim down a little bit for this putt. At, oh, ho, 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 don't you do that. <laughs> and try to spit out there. I'm at minus three. Four is the wind glide rive on a forehand up here. 
and just try to keep this in the middle so I can throw the hope again or throw the hope up under the basket. We're not running 188. That just feels like it'd be silly. We'll throw that about 150 power. Well, it probably could have gotten that a bit closer. But this is okay. This is our normal putter we use. And so we don't have a problem when we're in that putting range. As long as I don't have the four wind like I had on uh, last week on Emporia. Ooh, this is a rough wind. We got this line from MM93. Just throwing it out here into the hillside. As long as it stops. It might come on. Ooh. Okay, this is my first temptation. 105. Do I do it? Do it with about 60. Let me power that down a bit more. Drop in. Yes. Whew. Okay, that's a stroke to work with. That that'll allow me a par if that happens. This is a tough wind. Let's see. I have two different lines here. I have going low, but this wind actually feels risky to me going low. So I'm going to go high out here. And oh, okay, this is way high. Oh boy. Oh boy, stop. Just stop safe so I can pitch down low. Okay. It's safe. It's definitely, I'm not going to be running this one because I don't know those distances. Let's get the sticky on the savior to activate for me and just get down here. Pitch for that birdie. Would have nice. I saw a lot of people getting six, and six is actually one I was counting on, but that wind just had me really second guessing. Here on seven, I'm going to take the trust up this gap in the middle. That's fading a little bit to the, more to the left than I would have liked. I think I'm still within brave range though here. 286. Is that the brave? Yeah, because the brave can go 300. Get it down low, let it, let it turn up there, and get in putting range. Please, stay close. All right, it would have liked to be a little bit closer and not with the uphill, but we can work that out. Eight, nine, eight. There shouldn't be anything that can go wrong because I'm not getting risky on here. Oh, I see how people are getting this one. It's not a wind I'm going for it in. Do I do the backhand though? No, I just don't know it. Don't try something silly. Just forehand up here. Get it safe. If I was somebody who knew that big Anheuser turnover line, this would definitely be the one. A, a very gettable hole. But I don't know that line. Actually, if you watch my practice video, so I tried it a couple times and messed it up horribly, even in a great wind. So it's not something I'm going to mess around with on this one. Hole nine is one I don't feel super confident with the drive, but this is a great feeling wind. So let's see if I can get that around the corner fine. Get over the rock, over the rock. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, oh, temptation time. 106. All right, I gotta try it through it at 106. Then to like 50. Yes, yes. Finish with the eagle. That puts me at 39 for the event. Very good. One stroke behind Mark uh, MM93. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the Disc Golf Alley Player Store rounds. I hope this is good enough to put me into the, I mean, it'll keep me in the top 100 overall. And I'll keep the top 50 this one. Sweet looking accurate win Claymore. Uh, it's not something I bag, but it is awesome looking. And I hope this is good enough to land me in third place overall. Let's check those standings out. Yep, we're sitting here one behind MM93 with that minus 39. Would have been nice to get that one more stroke in there. Could have come from CC5, Coyote King 5 when I missed that drive. Could have come from any of these Enzo holes, like 6. Could have been a possibility, or 8 if I knew that drive. But I already got the lucky bonus stroke with 9, and 5 isn't one I'm usually confident in, but I got that one. Guys, thanks for watching if you follow me through the Disc Golf Valley Players Tour. I hope you enjoyed the tour and stay tuned for what's come next. Be shooting for a thousand uh, rated ELO in multiplayer. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay bogey free.